failed. I failed. The Blades are sworn to protect the Emperor, and now he and all his heirs are dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the Emperor's body. Uh, he gave it to me. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the Empire. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? Uh, I have to take it to someone named Joffrey. Joffrey? He said that? Why? Because there is another heir. Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. Well, how do I get there? First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City, or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. The sewers? There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced sorcerer. Am I right? Uh, you would be very close, yes. You must now choose your class. Right, so he called a sorcerer. I'm assuming because uh, the way that Boris's choice or assumption about you works is that um, the sum of all the abilities that you leveled up before this point sort of gives him a general idea or a rounded up idea about what you want to be playing i guess is the key and since the one and only skill i have leveled up uh was one point in destruction and that was it I guess he chose Sorcerer. Why not Mage? Why not any of the other ones that has Destruction as a major skill? I have no idea. But there you have it. He chose Sorcerer for us. And he would be almost correct, except for the fact that... I don't think I want Endurance as my second favorite attribute. Um, and I don't want Heavy Armor as one of my major skills... Instead, I want... What am I missing here? Illusion, it looks like. Yeah. I think I might want all seven caster skills. I might leave out alchemy. Not that I don't want to do alchemy, but I don't want all three uh, intelligence skills as my major skills because I want to leave one in case further down the line. Um... I want to kind of artificially pump a couple of extra attribute points into intelligence before I level, and alchemy is a really good one to do that with. Um, let's see. Either way, we're going to have to create our custom class. We're going to put our specialization into magic. And I'm going to go with intelligence and maybe strength to sort of kickstart my... Uh, carrying capacity. I'm only going to get plus five to both of these. Intelligence is a good one because it, it's, you know, I, it's definitely the attribute that I want to max out first uh, to take full advantage of my uh, of the birth sign, the Atronach, as Picard would put it. Speed does help, though, in the early game. Helps you get around faster. Um, and it helps kite mobs. It helps kite wolves. It helps kite bandits early in the game. Uh, but I think I'm going to go for strength. Personality is good, but not necessarily just yet. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go for strength and intelligence. And we're going to take all of the casting skills for sure. Mysticism Restoration. Um, and 
I might, I haven't figured this out just yet. I should have done this before I even started recording, but I might not take alchemy. I might, I might not. Let's see. I think I'm going to go for Mercantile, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, it's going to help boost my initial Mercantile skill. I think this, putting this point in here, I think that might even get me to 25, so I get the, the first sort of apprentice perk. Um, I don't remember what it is for Mercantile. I'm sure it's probably good, and it has to do with, you know, buying and selling of stuff. Um, and it's not a bad one. This, this might kick me further on down the line, but uh, because it's also a pretty tough one to level up, but if anything, I can just buy training points in Mercantile. Um, and it's a good one because it's also the... Oh no, it's not the only... No, I've got two out of the three skills selected that are uh, personality-based. I've got the three willpower ones, but... Willpower is unimportant for us. And I have two out of the three intelligence ones. The last one being alchemy. And that that helps us. That This actually helps me. It's going to take a longer time to level up the alchemy skill. And I'm also going to start, I believe, below the 25 mark. I could be wrong about that. Um... I might start right at 25. Actually, no. Yeah, if I'm not putting any points into it, I think I'm probably going to be at around 20. Okay, so we're not going to be able to see a couple um, alchemical ingredients for a few things, but that shouldn't matter. But this is going to actually help me down the line when I do want to artificially inflate my attribute bonus when leveling up for intelligence. So I'm going to be able to you know, make a whole bunch of potions, get five or six points in alchemy. Um, they're going to contribute to my plus intelligence on level up, but they're not actually going to level me up because it's not going to be a major skill. Okay, now this might kick me in the butt later on, but I think I know what I'm doing here. Um, yeah, I think I know what I'm doing here. Let's go with this. And we're going to be called... Oh, my custom class is the Omnisev. There we go. I am the Omnisev, yes. Make sure that that's selected. Strength, Intelligence, Magic, Alteration, Conjuration, Destruction, Illusion, Mercantile, Systems, Restoration. Now, Conjuration is also a good one to select as sort of your off intelligence skill instead of Alchemy. But if I don't select Conjuration as my major skill, I don't start at 25 plus, and that means I'm not going to have uh, an automatic spell to summon a skeleton. And not only that, but I don't even think you can summon anything when you're below 25 in Conjuration. Uh, but this Conjuration is also a really, really good one to use as sort of your off intelligence um, skill. Yes, I, I want to be an omnisiv. In any case, rats and goblins won't give you any trouble. Well, all right. Well, after the sewers, then what? You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne and Priory immediately. Got it? Sure, whatever you say, Boris. Yes, I understand. Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. What about you? What will you do? I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. And you as By well. By the way, Thank thanks you. for recovering Captain Renault's sword. I'll see that it is given a place of honor in the halls of the blades. Yes, there we go. I gave you back the sword. Or at least you took it. Now we're going to get little notifications for all the downloadable content that this game has. Can I loot? No, leave the Emperor in peace. Right, righty o. Any more potions? How about you? Do you have any loot? You have three gold. Wonderful. You have a weapon I can loot? I think I'm probably getting close to capacity. Ah, yes, that's right. We're at 175 because I took a point in strength. 
or one of my favorite attributes is strength. So we start with 35 strength, 55 intelligence. Good, good. We are at 30 speed though, which is not the greatest. Now, okay, sadly, destruction did start at 41. That is unfortunate. I was really, and we have that tiny little bit of experience there. So this is unfortunate. Uh, but again, I'm gonna try my hardest to ignore it and not min-max. Um, but, oh, wait, hold up. Okay, we start at 41, but it actually counts towards our progress to the next level. So that's actually not bad at all. I guess it's just when you have it as uh, these down here where it screws you up. Now I'm even debating whether or not the initial points in athletics, blade, blunt, and all that kind of stuff even mess up your uh, plus off skill progress. Maybe it doesn't, and this entire time was just wasted me slow walking. I have no idea. Probably not gonna even focus too much on it or put any research into it anyway. That chest is locked. Can I open? Very easy locks. Yes, I can. <laughs> Wonderful. Can I go back and open any of the very easy locks? that we had before. Uh, no, because there's that point where I jumped down. Yeah, no, no, I'm not even, won't even be able to get to some chests that I got to before. So there's our first point in athletics. Uh, so now it's gonna start counting our off skills, or maybe it did already. I, I honestly have no idea. I don't know. But here we are, we're through the tutorial. Or at least we're getting through it. Um, but now I have to be not necessarily super careful with my magicka, but somewhat cautious of it. Um, for example, I don't necessarily want to be spam casting life detection and starlight all the time because I have a limited reserve of magicka. What else do we have? We've got that shocking touch. I like shocking spells against casters because it drains their magicka. Does it do that in Oblivion? I actually don't remember. I know it does it in Skyrim. I think shocking. You know, shock damage, 10 points. I think that drains magicka as well. Ooh, calm is actually not bad. If I want to run away from a wolf, well, well, we'll do that situationally. Turn Undead, I think, is just a f Undead Fear spell? I, I can't remember. This spell's self. Yeah, we'll get that there, and we'll get this Protect spell here on 7. How's that looking? Shock on 1, Flare on 2, Summon on 3. Yeah, it's not bad. Alright. Uh, but yeah, so I can light my immediate surroundings. I don't want to cast it too much. And I think there were still some dangers here in these, yep, in these sewers. Six cheese wheels. At three weight. I don't think I'm going to be picking those up. i heavy. It's my cap- ah, oh, my capacity is great. Let's take all the cheese wheels. There we go. It only takes us up to 156. Let's loot this rat. Kill this goblin at the same time. Oh, and there's another one. Anything over here for me to... No. Oh, and we also have this wonderful little detect life spell. This doesn't show anything here. Rusty iron dagger, eh? Ooh, a silver nugget. Don't mind if I do. Um, isn't there a way out of these sewers? Hello, coin. I remember you. Oh, wrong spell. 
That's a little bit of wasted magic already. But as you can see, our magicka down at the bottom left of my screen is not regenerating on its own as it does normally. This gate is sealed. Alright, so before exiting the sewers, you may revise your character. Nope, we are finished. Let's get out of here. Yes, yes, a whole bunch of quests from all the downloadable content that I'm not going to be paying any attention to for the most part. Now, the gist of what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm a pure mage, so I am going to basically immediately try and go join the mages guild and do their whole quest line. Um, what you have to do in Oblivion for the mages guild is you have to go to all these towns all over the place, Coral, Skingrad, Anvil, um, Bruma, Chaden Hall, Leowin, Braville, and I think that's it. You have to go to all of the mages guilds in all these different cities and do quests for the head of the mages guild, or all the different heads of the mages guild. Um, and they give you their recommendations to then be able to join the Arcane University. Here we go, the Arcane University. Um, and it's a really nice quest line, a lot of magic-y stuff. Uh, the thing, the good thing about the Arcane University is that once you get there, you get to create new spells. You don't have the ability to create new spells until you join the Arcane University. So th there's going to be a while where we just have to try to pick up predetermined spells or pre-made spells uh, on our journeys through Tamriel. And we just kind of have to make do with what we're given or what we can buy up until that point. Um, but immediately before then, there's a nice little quest up here, just in these hills, uh, where we're going to be able to get a permanent storage location. There are a lot of... There's a lot of uh, issue. I don't know if it was fixed with the with all the patches that have come out and all that kind of stuff, but um, as far as I can remember from playing this game, the storage chests that you get in the mages' guilds don't necessarily keep all your items in a 100% persistent fashion. However, there is one very popular, one very famous uh, area, I think it's around here, or around here, where you do a little quest for these people, and you get... Uh, they basically give you a room in an inn for your efforts, and they give it to you for free indefinitely, and you have a storage chest in there that is 100% persistent and lasts throughout the entire game. What am I being attacked? Ah. Oh, I'm being attacked by a crab that for some reason can't get out and attack me. Uh, but I think first things first, I probably want to go into the Imperial City and get rid of a little bit of my weight.